folks. I'm glad to see so many smiling faces out here in the audience. All you must, all you people that are smiling the most must be from way up north. <laughs> I can't blame you. I was up there for many, many years myself. It's really great to get in Florida. I want to welcome each and every one of you to the 64th Annual Convention of Florida United Numismatists. My name is Randy Campbell. I'm the current president of FUN. And I just am thrilled to see that so many of my old friends are here uh, attending yet another fun convention here in Orlando. Now for many years, the January Fun Convention has been America's largest coin show. And this year, we hope to have another large coin show, obviously. Uh, a few years ago in Tampa, we had 1,010 tables sold. This year we have room for about 850 to 900, and however many we can squeeze in there, we have already sold. So this year also will be America's largest coin show by quite a margin. Now you'd expect America's largest coin show to have America's largest coin show auctioneer. Well, in fact, we have them. This year's Heritage Fund Sale features mind-boggling early copper, amazing high-grade proof Morgan dollars, plus high-grade examples, in fact, the highest graded examples, I believe, of both the 1884 and the 1885 trade dollars. As most of you experienced collectors know, they made 10 of one and five of the other. There's an example of each one in this year's heritage sale, and I would like as many of you as possible to go and take a look at the auction lots. They are truly stunning. It's not just expensive coins, though. They have medium price coins for the average collector, and I do hope you'll take the time to attend the Heritage Auction. Fun also offers an amazing run of educational programs. 17 different programs will begin today and run through Saturday in room 304A. Folks, 304A is right up that escalator, turn right, and you are there. These programs range from discussions led by ICTA, the Industry Council for Tangible Assets, uh, a report on counterfeiting, and our leadoff speaker will be a young lady who will be telling us how we can get and keep young kids interested in coin collecting. She ought to know, she's 18 years old herself and has already given several dozen uh, presentations about coins at various places around Florida. Her name is Amy Zeckman, and she was winner of the Young Numismatist Award at the ANA show in Philadelphia this summer. She is a young lady worth listening to. Don't forget to check out the wonderful series of educational exhibits inside the Burse area here. Exhibits chairman Bob Russell deserves high praise. He does a great job with the exhibits and you'll be hearing from Mr. Russell in just a few moments. Finally, I want to thank each and every officer and board member of FUN. These volunteers in the orange coats here, they work for nothing. They are volunteers. Uh, I'm just incredibly gratified to even have a chance to work with this outstanding group of volunteers. Without them, we could not put on America's largest coin shop. It's a, it's a stunning task to do it. These people do it on a volunteer basis. I would like you to please give a round of applause to my orange-coated friends here. Three of the orange-coated jacket folks will now receive special president's awards for outstanding service to this organization. I'm going to ask you to hold your applause, please, until I am uh, completed with all three of them. Would Cindy Wimker, Bob Hurst, and Tony Swicer please come up to the platform here. Bob, I just love the or matching orange shoes. Aren't they great? <laughs> Do we get any uh, percentage on that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Starting off with Bob. Bob, this is his 26th year on the board of Florida United Numismatists. He has served fun as security chairman, membership chairman, sergeant at arms, YM director, general chairman, vice president, and president. When former board member Fred Lake unfortunately passed away, Bob stepped right in 
and started taking photographs of major fun events, which he was just doing, by the way, as if really nothing had happened. Uh, it was amazing how Bob was able to do this. His work ethic is unbelievable. And I'm proud to say that Bob Hurst will be the next president of FUN. We will be in good hands with Bob Hurst. Thank you, Bob. To Tony Swicer. Tony is another man who has done it all for FUN. He too has served FUN as a board member, vice president, and past president. But he's done so much more for FUN. For 34 years, he's been president of the Palm Beach Coin Club that club has more members than any other coin club in the United States. It's about 350, isn't it, Tony, roughly? When the Numismatic Ambassador Awards, a very important group of awards, were dropped by Numismatic News, funds stepped in to fund and support the Numismatic Ambassadors Program. Tony Swicer stepped in and has run this program to perfection for the last several years. We are so proud of what Tony has done. Thank you, Tony. Cindy Wibker. Back around 1991, I believe, Fund's Coin Show coordinator unfortunately passed away. Board member Cindy Wibker was asked to take Ginger Bryan's place. Cindy said, I'll try it for a year, and I promise I'll do my best. Wow, did she ever do her best. There is almost no detail about the fun convention that she's not in on and aware of. Room reservations, convention hall contracts, auction contracts, I could go on and on. Suffice it to say that almost everything that happens here benefits from the Cindy touch. She is absolutely, positively the best at what she does. She is the premier show coordinator in the entire nation. In recognition of this, and in recognition of all the other amazing things she's done for the hobby, the ANA recently awarded Cindy Wibker the highest award they could bestow, the Farron Zerbe Award. Well, I want to let the ANA know that we at FUN are even more impressed with what Cindy has achieved. She is the lady that makes the FUN show go. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a huge round of applause for all three of these award recipients. Thank you very much. Uh, Bob, will you hand the, the two to the other award winners, if you would? There you go. <laughs> Okay. Folks, we would not be here without the efforts of these three amazing people. So we're, so we're so proud of what they have done. And as many of you know, this is my last fun show as president, at least for now, and probably forever. I've had three terms, counting my term back in the 1980s as a fun president. But I have to say, the, the last four years have been the best I've just thoroughly enjoyed working with this amazing group of directors here. Uh, and thank you to these three award winners. I think now I need to turn this over to Bob Russell. Is that correct? For the, uh... Bob, are you here? Come on. One more round of applause for these guys. Thank you, Randy. Short and sweet, I was, uh accepted the job of being an exhibit or the general chairman for this show which means i designed the bag that you're holding in the different giveaways that's fine but fun has a record of donating to various charities and i brought up that if we wanted to approve a donation this year i'd like to give some money to the uso because i've been around the world a few times and every country i've been in i made use of the uso so we did approve it and at this time, I want to introduce Anna Mae Cassandy, the local Central Florida USO rep. And we're going to present her with the check. And after that, I'm going to call up all of the board members who are retired military. And we'll get our picture taken with that check also.
All right, uh, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to thank FUN uh, so much for the support for our Central Florida USO. Uh, the mission of the USO is to support our active duty service members and keep them connected to family, home, and country. And I know I saw a lot of hands, so I'm sure many of you used the USO uh, while you were serving our country, so thank you so much. Uh, here in Central Florida, we support all the way from Tampa over to Cape Canaveral area. We have 14 counties, and we're powered by volunteers. Uh, we just wrapped up our holiday program. I like to throw numbers at people. I think it's very, um, very fascinating just to share what we've done. But we supported 832 uh, military children of E6 and below service members in a holiday program last month uh, all across Central Florida. And our Orlando USO Center at the Orlando Airport, we served over 39,600 military service members uh, in 2018. So we do that. Uh, thank you to the support of the community and uh, wonderful organization. So thank you so much to FUN. We, we really appreciate the support. Now, all the board members, former military. Thank you. I think it's safe to say that every GI who served, whether it's the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, whatever, was helped by the USO at some point, and I know I was, and uh, I was very pleased to receive their help. Got about 150 years worth of military service up here, and all branches except the Coast Guard. Hey, before, before I turn this back over to Randy, there is one other thing that we need to get done. Uh, Aunt Randy, we're really not kicking you uh, out for the last two days, but we want to give you your plaque in front of all these folks uh, for your dedicated service to fund and the four years that has been the president. You betcha. Randy's well deserving of this, and uh, he's put in a lot of hard, hard time for this. Bob, I appreciate this mostly because it comes from my fellow board members. Okay, folks, it's time for you to do what you came here to do. I want you to have a great time here. The board and officers of fun are thrilled to death that you're here, and we will see you back here this summer for the Summer Fun Show in July. Thank you very much. Have a great show.